the text for today. Thereafter, I'll uh, call upon the preacher. I, want, I wonder whether she's here. We have Madame Rosina. I'm at a, a clue. <laughs> Praise Jesus. So let's uh, hear from Second Peter. Second Peter, I'll read chapter 2, verses uh, 4 through to 11. Second Peter, chapter 2, I'll read from verses 2 downwards through to 11. Chapter 2, verses, yeah, that is it. For if God did not spare the angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell and committed them to pits of neither gloom to be kept until the judgment, if he did not spare the ancient world, but preserved Noah, a herald of righteousness, with seven other persons, when he brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly. If by turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, he condemned them to extinction and made them an example for those who are to be ungodly. And if he rescued righteous Lord, greatly distressed by the licentiousness of the wicked. For by what that righteous man saw and heard, as he lived among them, he was vexed in his righteous soul day after day with their lawless deeds. Then the Lord, then the Lord knows how to rescue the ungodly from trial and to keep the unrighteous under punishment until the day of, of, of judgment. And especially those who indulge in a lust of defiling passion and despise authority, bold and willfully, they are not afraid of uh, revile and the glorious one. And the last verse. Whereas angels, though greater in might and power, do not pronounce a reviling judgment upon them before the Lord. This is the word of God. <clears throat> this is the word of God. 